guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've brought to you this eyeshadow look. So I've just done the look, um, the eyeshadow, not the base because it's actually going to be a separate video, so keep an eye out for that one. Um, however, today I created this eyeshadow look using this eyeshadow palette. This is a new Zoph X and Makeup Revolution palette. It's such a gorgeous palette. I literally can't express that enough to you. Literally gorgeous colours, gorgeous shades. Great price, like £10, water bargain. So here, as you can see, these are all the different colours that are in the palette. You've got mattes and shimmers. Absolutely stunning. So absolutely loved using this today to create this look. I went for something all matte today and I love it. It's so autumny and autumnal. I love it. So yeah, that is what I've done today. I've used this palette. I've done some swatches in the video as well to show you what each colour looks like. All the different ones that I didn't use and obviously I'll show you the ones that I do use. So if you'd like to find out how I created this eye look using this eyeshadow palette, then please just keep on watching. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be using the Soph Does Nails X Make It Revolution eyeshadow palette that's just come out. That was their collaboration palette and they also brought out a highlighter palette which you definitely need to try. So I thought I'd show you these swatches first. These are all in order. So on this arm we've got Penguin, Pancakes, Fairy Lights, Pink Champagne, Iced Coffee and Cup of Tea. On this arm we've got Grow Old, which is a gorgeous copper shade, Sparks Fly, Smoky Bronze, Mixed Berries, Tiramisu and Peaches. On the third row we've got Cloudberry, Pumpkin, Pine Tree, Petrol, Pub and Danger. So finally we've got the last row which is Strawberry Sweets, fl Festive Flame, Copper Coin, Mug Cake, Rosewood and Nightmare. Soph did do a video about why she picked these names for these shades so I will leave that linked below and she talks more about her palette in that video so I'll leave that there for you guys to look at. So moving on to the actual eyeshadow look, I first took Cup of Tea which is the shade on the far right hand side of the top row then a really nice kind of warm-ish orangey brown shade like a nice transition shade as you can see it's really pigmented all i did was dip my brush in and i got a lovely payoff so that was obviously a great first impression just pop this in my crease and just buffing it out on the corners kind of winging it out i liked how blown out it was nothing too precise moving on i took the shade tiramisu this kind of warm a much warmer pinky brown I'm literally just going to place that where I put the previous cup of tea shade, maybe just a tad lower in my crease and definitely on the outer corner. These two colours blend, color blended, as you can see, made a really nice warm brown, so I really like that. Next shade I took was pumpkin and I packed this on a flat brush and popped this all over my lid. So this is a really really pretty colour. It did have quite a bit of fallout but I'm not too phased about that. I don't really mind fallout, it doesn't make a difference to me. Um, so I packed this on this small brush and I placed it all over my eyelid. It did take a bit of building but I can't imagine red is the easiest colour to formulate so as you can see I had a bit of fallout so I just placed some translucent powder underneath my eyes so I could catch it. Then to deepen this up 
further I mixed Danger with Pumpkin, place this all over my lid. So I mix these two shades to create like a darker, make it just a little bit darker and deeper in colour. So once I had patched that all over my lid and finished up the eye, I wiped away the flake and then just copied what I did on the other eye. Now both eyes were complete, I wanted to go ahead and do the lower lash line. First of all I took cup of tea again, just on a more tapered fluffy brush. And I just stuck this underneath my eye, uh, connecting, making sure to connect it to the outer corner as well. So everything's connected. And then I took the shade Tiramisu again, as I did before, kind of copying the steps I did before to be honest, just building up the colours again. I like how I like having a smoky bottom lash line, so I definitely drag this out quite low. If you don't like that, then you don't have to. Um, and then last of all, I took pumpkin on the other end of this brush. It's more of a pencil defined pencil brush. So I took that and ran that along my lower lash line. This brush, ooh, this brush, this brush is from the Urban Decay Smoky Palette, I believe. It's at really good palette. Um, a really good brush. I like, I use it quite regularly. It's quite nice and handy to have. Finally, I went in with a shimmery shade for my inner corners. I used the shade Fairy Light, which as you can see is such a pretty colour. This really gives me highlight vibes and I kind of wish I bought her highlight palette as well. So I will probably go out and purchase that from my local Superdrug soon. Guys, that is the finished look and once I'd finished the eyeshadow I just went and popped some mascara on and some lipstick. Right guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the look that I, cre I created with this palette. Let me know down below your comments and if you have any ideas of what other looks you'd like me to create using this palette. Obviously, as I said, it's such a diverse palette. It's got so many different colours and shades. Once again, here's the palette. So many different colours, so many different shades, matte shimmers, you could create a lot of looks. So do let me know if you'd like to see any other ones from me and yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. But all in all, great palette, great price. Yeah, I think it's a great palette, especially for this time of year. You've got some really Christmassy colours in there, some shimmers, reds, autumnal colours, like reds, purples, browns, shimmers, like the green is gorgeous, like how Christmassy is this colour. So yeah, I think it's a great palette and I would highly recommend it to anybody. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!